Should I take it or leave it out? You got me thinking now, and I'm stuck in this loop again. You got me thinking now, should I take it or leave it out? What would happen if I talk to you? Got a feeling that I get a blue. Yeah. Ooh, would you be my
All right, we are back. <coughs> okay. We are back with uh, part two of today. And uh, welcome, guys. Or welcome back, guys. I really appreciate it. Let me just check something, check something real, quick. real quick. Yep. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Ah. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. So, we were playing. Here it is. Kowloon's Curse Lost Report. This game is not a work of fiction. Yeah. Bullshit. Guy's name is Mr. Manslaughter. Alright. Yeah, we definitely gotta turn this music down. Sound, sound effects are fine. Music is just... much better. Because now that music isn't blasting in our ears. Okay, make Lao Song pay Return of the Mahjong Parlor. Okay. have an invitation? Really? What a dump. You need an invitation to get in here? Go back to where I was over here. <coughs> this game cost me my family. I'd say it was more than worth it. Why would I choose to listen to my wife's constant whining when I can be having fun? I do miss my kids sometimes, but I'm sure she'll let me see them once I win big. Yeah. daughter's birthday is this week, or was it last week? I don't remember how long it's been since I came here. But if I win this one, I'll be able to get a nice birthday gift. Nice. Hey, 
Hey, you're cheating. I saw you switch the tiles when I wasn't looking. What? That's bullshit. How did you even see if you weren't looking? Saw what I fucking saw, man. Don't lie to me. This is, that's the other side. Okay, so it was just one, it didn't matter which way it went. There we go, this is the, this is the big room. Ah, John. Hehe. <laughs> Picture me calling that six bamboo tile, pawn. Oh, you're really shaking things up, avant-garde. Yeah, I'm going for all terminals. Ooh, now you're talking dirty. Keep going. I like where this is headed. Imagine me fixing a sumo. Well, slow down there, cowboy. I think I'm hitting a wall of my own just listening to all these crazy moves. some content will become unavailable. Please make sure you've done everything you want to do before entering. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Not so fast. The man wants to fight. Okay, we're gonna use some skills. Just pissed while song. Or you haven't been paying a rent, you've secretly been smelling, selling smokane on top of that. You're either gonna pay up or I'm blowing your brains out. Just please give me two days, I'll pay extra even. I don't give a shit, you're gonna pay me right now. Sergio, calm down, let it. What the fuck do you know? How can you possibly understand? I swear I'll. Shut the fuck up, Lao song. I fucking had it. My whole life, my whole fucking life. Nothing but a fucking pawn, never achieving anything myself. I fucking had it with that shit. I'm gonna take this money and get the fuck away from here. Whoever the inspector sends after me, I'll just fucking kill them. 
I'll kill the inspector himself if I have to. I'm not gonna be his pawn any longer. No more of this shit. But you want the same, don't you? Of course you do. Who wouldn't? Oh, I can't hack his phone again? Shit. I'll try beating him. I'll try another gunpowder cigarette. Alright, I gotta get him within the next few, uh... Welcome back, Maltus. What's this? Andy's back. Good morning, cat. Maltus, welcome back to the litter box. Good afternoon. How you doing? I'm continuing my um my random Catterday morning show uh from earlier. This game is called um Lost Oh crap, I can't even remember. I'm sorry. I'll uh 
Hold on a second. This game is called Kowloon's Curse Lost Report. Damn. If I just leave, he might come after me. But if I execute him, I'm going to feel bad. I'll take pity on him. Oh, so he so he died anyway. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta make an adjustment to the sound here. Okay, that's a little better, I think. I need, I need to get a... I need to find a vending machine. Because I don't have any energy drinks left and I know there's going to be another fight.
feels like the longest metro ride I've ever been on. Now I'm running away. Oh no, I can't. I'm probably gonna lose. I probably won't be able to finish this game. You're here. Do you know how much money you've cost me? Do you? I can tell you if you want. Not that it matters because you're going to earn it all back. And you're going to make me even more money than I lost. You won't be seeing a single cent of that, however. But it's not like you'll even realize that after what they're going to do to you. Boys, the inspector smiles. Take him away. And that's it? That's the ending? Wow. Okay. Idea guy. Quasar. All right. Hmm. Now, was that really the end? <coughs> Ah, well. Well, I mean, it, it was a... As far as I know, it was a free game. Yeah, it was It was a free-to-game play. It was a free-to-play game. I'm gonna definitely give it a, a good rating. At first, the controls 
took a little getting used to. But I did manage to make my way around with little difficulty. Oh, and the ant, <laughs> and the and the best thing about this game, Waltus, is there was a uh, cat smoking a cigarette inside the hallway of the slum. Um. Yeah, after I'm done with this review, I'll show you. Ah, uh, to make manage to make my way around with little difficulty. Uh, the combat system is easy to navigate. Uh, the um, plot was actually really good. Uh, nice old school graphics. And a cat standing in the hallway of the slum smoking Siggy. Gets this game a perfect rating of 10 out of 10. I'll, I'll just go through the dialogue real quick. <laughs> yeah, the, the people and the events are, are actually real because the guy's name is Mr. Manslaughter. Yeah, bullshit.
Yeah, I'll show you, Malthus. Check that shit out. They put me in the game. Because they knew I'd get around to playing it eventually. I mean, the resemblance is striking. Okay, so that was Kowloon's Curse Lost Report. Very good game. Very well made. Now we're going to uninstall it. Okay, so let's... um. Let's see what else we've got here. It's just a... Oh, this is probably going to be a terrible one. <laughs> this is probably going to be terrible. But, let's give it a try. This one is called It's Just a Story. Case that was never close. The accused died two weeks after a statement, the reason unknown. Shocking turn of event victims. Okay. All right, here we go. Wait, now why is it not changing over? Hold on.
1932, a few months back just before the incident, there was a city called O, you can call it O region, on Earth. It was where the humans with high intellectual abilities stayed, while other parts of the world were way behind in terms of technology and science. They were already far ahead. This kind of community was only allowed and protected by the Gov because thanks to such people it was sure that the world would advance soon and that things are tested out on themselves, oh, before the world. You know, they didn't have political power, but they obeyed the government. They were like babies that are not harmed but must obey if they want to enjoy freedom. Everything was going so smoothly until human greed saw no limit to the possibilities of science and wanted immortality. The higher-ups to be precise wanted that and they demanded that O makes that possible for them. O made a meeting with the top scientists in the city and formed three teams that were to look for the solution from three different approaches. Team Gamma was in charge of brain preservation to be able to store and transfer the brain of a person successfully into another body. Team Beta was in charge of mapping and converting the whole brain into digital form and Team Alpha was in charge of mutation of the blood cells. Out of all these teams, Team Alpha Task was way more dangerous and risky but they had the best of the best with them so things should have been okay. They had Dr. Dan the best scientist in biology and more. Mr. Dan is a charismatic leader and family man. He's about average height, dark light skin color, dark glossy hair, well-trimmed beards, blue eyes, in his late 30s, a body weight of 84 kilograms, fitted muscles, and was always giving off the cold vibe to everyone he works with but a calm and composed man who barely speaks unless needed to. At home, he was a totally different person, a man full of joy and love. He feared his daughter the most. She was the only child at the moment, but his wife was on the move of bringing the second in. Dr. Dan doesn't fear threats made to him by higher-ups or anyone. In fact, he wasn't going to do this whole research to begin with if he was still alone like he was in the past, but now he has to protect the future his daughter wants and the peace his wife should be getting, as he is a highly valued person in the city. His family is enjoying pretty much everything, so that made him take the offer which was if they don't come up with a possibility then the freedom the city has would be reduced each time they fail to meet the demands of the higher up, and then outsiders who have been dying to get in can finally get in and explore, destroy, steal things in the place. The time of incident, it was late night. Most of the workers had left, leaving Dr. Dan and a few other scientists in the lab. Now Dan wasn't liked by the other colleagues. They are very smart too, but they just don't like the fact that he is on another whole level and that cold attitude of his always gets on their nerves. They all were in the office waiting for the incubation of some chemicals. While that was processing, a group of them were discussing some possible tryouts with Cell's organism when Dan overheard a particular hypothesis and immediately interrupted their conversation telling them they can't do that. They should not try it or think about even bringing those two substances together. Doing that would cause chaos on the world. They once again took their pride and felt that he was just trying to make them feel miserable and dumb and indeed did mix those two substances together when he was out for a short while. Before he came in the safe lock of the lab was already activated and the people inside could not run out. So he, Dan, stood watching them from the door glass as they mutated into creatures and undead. Weeks later Dr. Dan has been working on research to find a solution to what happened. The infected or exposed have been contained by the Gov. Finally. Dan found the cure one day, but that day was the day an outbreak happened. The facility holding the infected had power shortage and led to the release of some strong creatures that mass infected others. He was in the dark of this because he has been away from the net and home for weeks now. On getting home, he saw the house garage open and carved looking all damaged. He tried not to panic much. He got inside shouting for his wife, but no answer. As he moved more in, he saw blood stains, 
Then slowly he approached a body on the floor and saw it was his wife. He broke down shaking and lost. He was in too much shock he didn't notice when he was beaten by the same creature who did that to his wife. He tried to look at the creature but blacked out. Later he woke up but forgot who he was. He was able to survive because he had injected a little amount of the solution in himself for final testing of side effects on humans since there was no one but him in the lab then. So the shock he got from seeing his wife all in blood and dead with their unborn child before he was beaten caused his brain to safe boot back to an age before he met his wife. He doesn't remember much of himself anymore, not even his name his wife gave him. Dr. Dan wants to find out what happened, what is going on, and why he feels this unknown urge to survive. The world should be destroyed by now or not. Help him find out as you know what he doesn't. Dan wakes up in a strange house and is trying to find out what is going on. Oh, this reminds me of that game that I played uh, the other day. It was that um, it was that liminal game. I promise I'm not a thief. I somehow found myself in this house. Hello. The light went off. Is this an action to scare me? I repeat, I'm not a thief. Doors locked, find key. Do you believe in the supernatural? I didn't long before, but I do now, as I'm writing this to you. 
I can't get in contact with my husband. My home is being invaded by them. I hope we make it out. Oh. Alright, let's go this way. Dan was puzzled and lost in the house. He seems to be looking for a key or mean through to the rest of the house. He entered a dark room and saw an air vent, which is a place where air comes and goes from.
Oh, nice.